How do you like eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. Boiled or fried, I'm satisfied as long as I get my kiss. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all well and had a great week. Um, sorry I haven't been on for a while, I've been on for a few weeks. Um, as you know, I think I told you last time my mum has been a bit poorly. But the good news is she's all clear now and everything's wonderful and she's back to her wonderful glamorous self. And um, thank you everyone for the healing that you've sent because it really does make a difference when you get that many people sent sending the energy ball and sending the healing, it really does work. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um, that my mum is um, wonderful again now. Um, so I've got quite a, a, a good, exciting blog for you today. We're going to two, uh, going to pick two cards out. I'm also going to talk about the pendulum today and the magic of the pendulum. Um, and more jokes, um, starting with this fella goes to the doctors and uh, he says, uh, Doctor, I've been bitten by a wolf. And the doctor goes, where? He goes, no, just an ordinary wolf. <laughs> anyway, let me start with the pendulum today before we do the cards. Now, I don't know whether anyone has ever used the pendulum. They, are, they come in different colours, different crystals. These are absolutely gorgeous. My friend makes these. Um, there's a little guardian angel on the end of that. I don't know whether you can see. It's absolutely wonderful. And what happens, um, I'm, I'm sure that your grandmother or, you know, must have told you when you can hold it over a pregnant lady's um, tummy and, you know, it'll turn around. It's that kind of thing, really. It works on your vibration, the va you know, the vibration of yourself, and it also works with spirit as well. So sometimes your spirit guide might help to move it. Um, sometimes whoever's there at the time from spirit might help to move it. It's a magical thing. So what you do, when you first get a pendulum, you need to sleep with it under your pillow for about two or three days, just so it gets all your energy on it. And then don't let anybody touch it after that. Don't let anyone touch your pendulum, uh, Matron. So what you do is you hold it up very, very still. Now what you do, you ask for a sign for yes. That's the first thing that you do. So you hold it under your hand like that, right? And then you would say, please give me a sign for yes. I'll just give you a demonstra demonstration. So please can you give me a sign for yes? Can you see that pendulum is going backwards and forwards, left to right? Can you see it? I'm not moving that at all. You can see my hand is completely still. Okay. Now you ask if it will give you a sign for no. So can you please, pendulum, give me a sign for no? It's going the other way now. Can you see that? It's going the other way. Now, what you do now, you ask it a question that you already know the answer to. So, okay. For those who don't know, my real name is Tracy, actually, yes. But when I first started singing, the agent said to me, Tracy, you're from Hartlepool. You can't have a, a, a name like Tracy when I was singing all the time. You can't have a name like Tracy because the... You know, from Hartlepool especially, because everybody will think you dance around your handbag and your white stilettos and your black tights. So you'll have to pick another name. So Gina Pontoni is actually my stage name, although a lot of people do call me Tracy, um, my best friends and my mother, usually. They're the only people that call me Tracy. Um, anyway, so, so what I'm going to do now is ask a question that I already know the answer to. So is my real name Tracy? Yeah, can you see? It's going left to right. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask it a question where I know the answer is no. Okay. Am my jokes funny? No, Monica. Right, okay. What we're going to ask now. Okay. Am I 99 years old? See, it's going in the other direction now. Can you see? It's going in the other direction. Okay. So basically, the pendulum, you can ask it anything you want. Don't ask too many um, trivial questions. Um, like, am I going to win the bingo tonight, or have you? <laughs> but, you know, ask 
ask whatever you like and the pendulum is truly magical i just love the pendulum okay so there we go and you can get different ones i mean that's an amethyst my lovely friend Ange bought me that um a lovely amethyst one as well so i use different ones um for different um people in different situations so let's have a card let's have two cards of the week so let's uh, i'm going to use the cosmic cards today the cosmic cards i always say the philip star cards right what's that the moon right i briefly touched on the moon when i was talking about um affairs the moon on its own doesn't necessarily mean an affair but if you can see the moon, it's um, you can't see behind the moon. It's quite mysterious. So the moon can mean some. It can be mystery. It can be lies. It can mean um, like deceit. It's something that you can't see behind. So it usually means when you get the when I see the moon in a in a spread, I always think that person is quite emotional at the time as well, because because it can stand for female emotions. Um, and the moon governs the sign Cancer. So if you're a Cancerian you'll tend to get the moon a lot in your cards um so as i say it can mean emotions but it usually means like lies and deceit or something you can't see behind like mystery now like i said before i think in one of my first blogs if that's coupled with the devil the devil's temptation that's coupled with the three of swords and the seven of swords it's more than likely an affair that's going on there um, or heartbreak so it's not a particularly good card the moon uh, it's not one of my favourites to be honest um, but there you go what song would I sing um, fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars actually that's a nice song isn't it that's about somebody loving someone so think of a deceitful song Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Fleetwood Mac, tell me lies, little lies. So there you go. The moon, let's have another one. Ah. Oh no, this isn't a good one. You can't always have good ones. The Ten of Swords. Now, you know, I've picked two dodgy ones out today. Sorry, but it, it's just the, the way the cookie crumbles. Um, some people say that this is the wor worst card in the pack. I personally don't think it's the worst card. I think the worst card is the Three of Swords. This is a pretty bad card, like, I must admit. But, you know, it depends who's reading your cards, you see. Because if you get a negative person reading your cards, it's going to be doom and gloom, isn't it? You know, if you get somebody that's a miserable sod... And it was reading your cards. Well, then, you know, I'm a positive person. I like to think I'm positive and I'm always optimistic and I always like to see, you know, I'm a, I'm a glass half full kind of person. So even though that is the end of something, the end of a chapter in your life which is going to cause you pain, that can sometimes be bankruptcy, it can sometimes be the end of a relationship, it can sometimes mean death. If it's with the death card, it can mean the death of a person. Um, as you can see, that fella, bless him, he looks as though he's going mad on that card, doesn't he? It's, it's not a nice card, really. However... The good side of this card is the only way is up. You have reached the bottom. You have absolutely reached the bottom. And now the only way is up. You can't get any further down when you get that card, right? So um, it can be divorce, bankruptcy. It can mean a death, but it's the end of something in your life, right? So the song I'd sing would be uh, the theme of uh, The Only Way is Essex, for those who watch it. <laughs> the only way is up. Baby, and I know my mother watches that every morning. Sorry, Betty, but she does. Um, so there you go. Uh, the only way is up. Um, Ten of Swords. So there's the cards today. They're not brilliant cards, but, you know, like I say, you can always get good cards, can you? But you're going to have a nice week anyway. I just feel it in my water. Everybody's going to have a wonderful week. So let's finish with a joke, as I usually do. Right. My Aunt Mary had two monkeys. And uh, these monkeys were a pride and joy. And she, the poor monkeys died. They probably got the ten of swords. The poor monkeys died. So she takes them to the taxidermists. And uh, taxidermists, is it mists or mist? Taxidermist. So she says to the guy, um, can you stuff me monkeys? And he says, of course, madam. He said, uh, would you like them mounted? And she says, oh, no, just shaking hands will do. 
Right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's blog. Um, give you a little bit of insight with the crystal. Um, give you a little bit of an insight with the not so good cards in the pack. Um, have a wonderful week. I hope you have sparkles and laughter and love and kisses and cuddles and everything wonderful. And I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.